Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life and I have a grocery haul for you guys. So let me just give you a quick rundown here. I set aside, well, I've changed the amount and I can't remember what the amount is. Anyways, we're a family of six at home right now and so I believe I'm down to $650 I believe is what I have um, kind of moved down to in my grocery budget. And I always do once a month grocery shopping and I spend usually around 400 ish hello joe <laughs> and i typically spend about 400 ish on that first giant grocery shop and then i save a couple hundred to spend throughout the month this month this is really the first time other than grabbing you want to be in here too okay other than grabbing some milk at like a gas station uh you know at quick trip or picking up i did need some tomato sauce the other day so i picked that up so anyways i just have not done any fill-in grocery shops or anything like that until today and there is about a week left in the month this weekend coming up we are actually it's it's turkey hunting season <laughs> And so I know you're so excited you're about so that. <laughs> you're so excited about that. So it's turkey season, and that means that we have a couple relatives coming. Yeah, to me. Kids love to have something to drink along with the guys. I picked up some mm -hmm. beer. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. You're too young for that. Yeah, but it is still green. You like this kind of Gatorade. I did get a couple Gatorades for the kids, and then we mm -hmm. normally make pretty big breakfasts during the turkey season because they get up so early, and then they go out hunting, and then they come back in, like, whatever time it is. It seems like it's usually around 9.30 or something, and we make a big breakfast. So I did buy some sausage links because we're going to do pancakes and sausage one morning. I have some potatoes. We're going to do mashed potatoes, and I'm going to be making, like, uh, steak and gravy on Saturday. Saturday night, so I wanted to have enough potatoes for that. We'll be doing a salad one night. Oh my, look at that. Look at her eyes are even up. Those are, that is so cool. I love it. This was one of the things that we picked up at Walmart today too, because my total is kind of deceiving. Because My total today was $170, I think. It's deceiving. Maria got a Lego. She actually has to pay me back for that. She had forgotten to take her wallet. And then we also bought a birthday present that came in at around just under $15 for one of Peter's friends. And then the beer that you don't see here. So kind of a lot of bigger things. Anyway, let's keep going with this. So we are gonna have salad for one of our suppers. I can't remember what night it is. Maybe when we have brats and hot dogs, we're going to do salad. And then I did get two of these bigger packs of bacon because, you know, if you're serving eight people breakfast, <laughs> you're going to need to have more bacon. I didn't know if we would do bacon one morning or two mornings. I just got enough. Some hot dogs to go along with the brats that we're going to be having. Our cousin is bringing the brats. So anyway, I just needed to get the hot dogs for that meal. And then Peter saw this and he had asked for this port wine cheese. This stuff is delicious, you guys. And kids are playing Legos in the background. That's what all that squealing is about. This is really, really good on crackers, which we have. And then some half and half. I am planning on making some broccoli soup here soon, probably for this weekend. Um, and then also some milk. We just bought milk, but if I go, I like to get at least a couple gallons just to make sure I don't run out. And then some juice. I picked up this Welch's Concord grape. This was something that Maria saw when she heard me say I needed juice. And we were close to this and it was $2. And it's like, why not? Well, we'll give it a try. Is it actually juice? It isn't. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even look. I suppose that's okay though. I mean, people still drink it up. And then I did pick up some, one of these variety packs of granola bars. They do like to take um, hunting snacks with them when they go turkey hunting. And so I know Warren will be taking Joseph, Peter, Maria out individually for a morning or an afternoon hunt. And so, you know, that's how you keep them happy is having some snacks. If you are a fruit snack family, I don't, I personally don't like fruit snacks. Warren and the kids could like have a meal off of these things. We usually get the original but we're trying the tangy. They just look like they had good flavors, but these are the best. They all say that the Great Value Smiles are the absolute yes. best. And then I wanted to get some Jello, and they were really low. I went to Walmart today. They were so low on Jello. Just some of the like sugar-free ones were left. And so we picked up this blue raspberry flavor that looked kind of fun. We'll make like little Jello squares. And then I had run out of pudding the other day. 
And so I just picked that up. I know that would normally be something I would wait for for my nope. big once a month grocery shop, but I do have a chocolate cake mix and I was thinking maybe I could make that dessert that Warren likes so well. Um, I think we just call it chocolate tort. That takes chocolate pudding, so I got that to have on hand. Okay, 10 pounds of sugar because I basically have about a half a cup left. And then I needed some more bread flour because I have about a cup left of that. And I am going to make some homemade hamburger buns again. I made them once. We loved them so much that I was going to do it again. I don't think I've ever bought these in my life, but they just looked like something that Warren would really like and make, you know, turkey hunting food. As you can see, they basically just take sugar and junk for turkey hunting food. Amber's boyfriend, oh, you're giving us a thumbs up. Thanks. Gave the kids one of these once. They thought they were so great. And so I picked those up for them. And then a couple cucumbers. I hope they're good. We've been having horrible tasting cucumbers lately. And then a couple green pepper. I have a lot of frozen ones, but my kids do really like um, green pepper slices, so I picked those up. Hot dog buns to go along with the hot dogs on the night we're doing that. And then just a variety of chips. So I was thinking a bag of the potato chips would come out when we do probably two bags of potato chips if I'm um, being honest here because I think Emily and her family and Nick and possibly his girlfriend may be coming out when we have that meal as well. These are Warren's favorite chips ever ever and then Doritos. I don't normally shop like this just because I'm at Aldi and I just get what they have at Aldi but since I was at Walmart we thought let's let's go for it today. Well the Aldi snacks are good. They're they're fine. <laughs> You know, um, they're not fabulous, though. I mean, obviously, if you put a Dorito up next to an Aldi brand nacho chip, you would definitely be able to tell the difference. For everyday eating, I usually just grab the Aldi ones, but this was just something a little more special, and I was at Walmart, so I said, why not? We are going to be having green beans one of the nights. I think it's when I'm going to make the steak and gravy in the crock pot, and so I picked up some more green beans. And then I always like to get five of these toilet papers when I'm there because I just don't really ever want to run out. Whoops, I see we forgot to take this out. I think that's the only thing in here. And then just some home style waffles. I do really, really like to make homemade waffles, okay. but I just thought it would be really nice on the morning that we do the waffles. <laughs> Let that hit the floor, okay, Joe? Thanks. I was just thinking with my toaster oven, oh, it's really easy to put in. I think I can get in like, if I do two trays, I can get in something like 15 okay. waffles at a time, and that's really nice if we're serving waffles oh, for eight people. Okay. We'll have scrambled eggs that morning, and I think that's a morning that we're gonna do bacon as well. Oh. And then sour cream, because I am going to make barbecue, or I already made the barbecue, it's in the freezer, and we're gonna have barbecue on Thursday night for okay. supper, and I wanted to make cheesy potatoes to go with it, so I got the sour cream for that. And then for Sunday morning, I was kind of thinking, uh, we actually will be going to Mass at 1 o'clock on Sunday because Sam is getting confirmed. We have a little bit more, um, we'll have a very relaxed Sunday morning besides turkey turkey hunting. And so I want to make those little ham cups where you put the ham in a muffin cup and then you crack an egg, salt and pepper, and maybe there's a little cheese or something in there, I can't remember. But anyway, I wanted to make those and I thought this would be the right kind of ham because you want that like real uh, thin ham for that. I've been cheese. shredding my own, but this time I just grabbed the thing of shredded cheese for when I make the cheesy potatoes. Oh, and then we are going to have grilled cheese one of the days for lunch, or at least that's the plan. And so I figured I'd do grilled cheese on the day that I make the broccoli soup because I know I like broccoli soup, but I know pretty much nobody else in my family likes it. This is what we got for Peter's friend. His birthday is in just a couple days and uh, his friend is turning 12. And so we thought this would probably be pretty fun. There was a lady there too and she was like, oh, she said, my nieces and nephews love playing with these great big planes. And so I thought it'd be fun. You know, we can put it together and it's foam. So hopefully he's not gonna hurt his <laughs> brothers with it or his sister. And so we picked this up and it was just under 15. Actually, I wanna say it was like $13 or something. Peter's really, really looking forward to wrapping this up and giving it to his friend for a birthday present. I hope that you all enjoyed this video mm -hmm. and that I shared enough of kind of what, how I'm going to be using the foods for you. I know mm -hmm. that when I watch grocery mm -hmm. haul videos, that's what mm -hmm. I enjoy is seeing some like items and you know, mm -hmm. someone mentioning a meal and I say, and then I'm like, oh, 
I didn't think of that. That would be good. Or, boy, we haven't had that in a long time. I should make that again. And that's honestly why I enjoy watching the grocery haul videos. And if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to have you along as a subscriber. Just hit the subscribe button and the bell if you would like to get notifications. All my content revolves around motherhood, homeschooling, cooking, um, gardening, outdoor life, stuff like that. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.